Sporting dog adventures run, that boy, was run. Awesome. Everything you Good need boy. is here, here under the sun. Everything you need is here under the sun. Hi, I'm A.G. Shaw. I run uh, AKC and HRC Hunt Test. This is Ace. He's a master hunter. He's going to demonstrate the T today. The T is what we use for hunting and for hunt tests. It's the foundation of teaching blinds and having the dog respond to all your casts. So when you guys pick a field, you want it to be you know, 60 to 80 yards wide and probably 100 yards long. Ideally, you probably want your, your back pile to be at about 80 yards, 80 to 100 yards, and then your over piles off the center line will be about 20 yards to each side. Um, what I like to do is, is run those piles in the same exact spot every day, whether you use a, uh, you paint the ground where you're putting those piles at, or you use a survey flag, something like this, and go out and mark your piles. So this works out nice because the dogs really don't see orange um, and you can see it where the pile is if the grass is a little tall. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to do the hand signals here. Um, you wanna start like in a praying position, okay? You're praying your dog's gonna take the cast, but so we're in a praying position and we wanna do a, a, a back right cast. We go straight up with our hand like this and Keep your hand open. You want to have a big uh, picture for the dog to see. So this is a back right cast, back left cast. Try to come straight up so you're not out here because as you get further in training, these are going to become angles. So you want to teach the dog straight back first. Then when we do an over, which is a right or left, we're going to cast out to the side and step. And we want to keep our thumb in the downward position so our hand doesn't go up too high. Same thing with the left. Thumb downward position and out to the left. Sporting Dog Adventures is presented by the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism, Boucher Automotive, Fleet Farm, Heavy Shot, Mac Outdoors, Rite Inertia Driven Shotguns, and Soggy Acres Retrievers. Hey, welcome to season nine of Sporting Dog Adventures. Please like our videos, share them, and spread the word to all your friends. When we do the tee, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit a whistle. We're gonna send the dog on the back pile that we've already taught him in the beginning of training, which is a pile of bumpers in the back. And we run him on that a couple times. Then we're gonna hit a whistle when he's about halfway there. He's gonna stop, he's gonna turn and look at us. We're gonna give him a hand signal to the right or the left, and that's, that dog is gonna go in that direction. And this is the part that really starts to look cool is when the dog's responding to which way you point. And uh, people find it really, uh, really kind of wild when a dog uh, does what you ask of them. Okay, so when, you, when you're first running this uh, pile, you want to start with your back pile. You don't want to have your, your over bumpers out the first time you run this um, because it'll draw the dog to them. So we're going to start out with a back pile and pretend those over bumpers aren't there. So we say uh, dead bird. We want to have our toe pointing towards the, uh, the back pile. Here, dead bird. Ah! Here, good dog, good dog. Want to tell the dog he's doing a good job so he's excited. Here, heel, sit. Now this time we're going to stop him at the apex of the, the triangle or the apex of the T and we're going to give him an over. Yeah, I've heard. Ah! See how the dog sits and looks at you? Now we're going to wait three to five seconds before we cast him. Over. No. Over. Now there the dog thought he was going to go back to the back pile. We just stopped him and uh, paused for a second and then we casted him again. Sit. Good. And we'll send them on the back pile next. So we always want to, if we do an over, we want to do maybe two backs for every over we do. Dead bird. Back. Make sure when you send your dog, you always have the whistle in your mouth in case he goes the wrong direction, you can stop him. Dead bird. Back.
Good dog. Sit. Sit. Damn bird. Look. And he likes to shorten up the work. Here. Come here. Come on. Here. Okay, so we have the uh, we have the uh, bumpers on our overs all picked up now. So we're going to stop them at the apex, and we're going to give them a back cast, a left or right back cast to go to the back pile. Yeah, Bert. Huck. Huck. Here. So what he did there is he didn't completely turn and look at me. So what I did was whistle him in a little bit to straighten out his body so he was in line with taking the proper cast. So in closing, guys, remember to start with your back pile first. Have the dog run to that a few times before you start adding your over bumpers in. And this will conclude our, our training tip of the day on how to run a tee. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching. Nothing beats a good pheasant hunt with my sons. We're headed to Kansas this winter. The state has some of the world's best populations of upland game, making it one of America's top bird hunting destinations. Kansas provides mixed bag opportunities and 1.5 million acres of public hunting lands. All that makes Kansas an ideal destination. The season runs from the second weekend in November to the end of January. Go to ksoutdoors.com and plan your trip today.